Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. I am Tia and today I am sharing a very fun haul with you because I splurged a little and treated myself and I got some more candles. Um, let's let me before I get into the candles, let me tell you, I'm a candle fanatic. I buy candles all the time. As you can see, I always have my diptych behind me, though. In the upcoming videos, I might trade it out with the candles that I'm going to talk about today. So I was plotting and planning to purchase a Trudon candle off of the recommendation of a good friend. And when I went to purchase the candle that she recommended, which was the Josephine, they were sold out of the size I wanted. So no worries. I decided I would wait. Um, however, fate would have different plans for me because I went on to Facebook and one of my good friends had purchased a Josephine candle from a different company. I took it as a sign. I said, okay, let me explore this other company. And when I say the company resonated in a way that I was not expecting, I immediately dropped my ideas of buying Trudon and just invested in this company instead. So the company I'm talking about today is the Harlem Candle Company. And of course, I will put all of their details below for your convenience, including social media, websites, all of that, along with the details on each of the candles that I purchased for your convenience as well. So I purchased several items from them and I'm going to show you the items and then I'm going to talk about the fragrances. So this video might be a little chattier than normal, but it's totally worth it. I promise. So I bought three candles and two match boxes. So one of the candles I bought was the Josephine. The other one was the Speakeasy and the third one was the Ellington. The Josephine and the Speakeasy are the larger size, 12 ounces, 80 hours of burn time. The Ellington is four ounces with 20 hours of burn time. And of course, I also got matches. So I'll just show you the matches really quick. These are the match books. And they have the strike strip over here. And when you open them, this is what these look like. They have white tips. They're nice, long matches. So if it takes you a minute to light all of your candles, you don't have to worry about the match burning to your fingers before you can light all the candles you want. Really nice, long match sticks. This is the, well, for starters, this has the brown stones that you can see in Harlem as the background. This one is the company logo, which is so luxurious. Doesn't that look like something you'd find inside of a men's club somewhere? Gorgeous. And these have black tops. So um, they look a little gray on the screen, but they are absolutely black matches. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I love them, so I bought them. Um, actually, one of the big candles I bought, they had a pair, the Josephine and um, this particular matchbook um, for a discount. So I bought it as a set. Anyway, we are going to talk about these candles now. Now that we've talked about these, let's talk about the candles. So first things first, the candles come beautifully boxed. And so... Oops, I'm almost dropping one. Here's the box to the Josephine. I'll tell you what's on the sides, but I will also read what's on the back to you. Um, so this is the label. That's so pretty. Can't you imagine like putting some sort of weights in this and making it like a bookend on a really nice shelf system somewhere? Just, it's beautiful. You've got the logo on the top, the H for Harlem. On the side of the box, it says Joy Light Life. And on the other side, love, live, give. So very cute and inspirational, but wait until I read you what the creator of these candles wrote. It's, I, Harlem, am your muse. I have endowed you with culture and song that shall last for all of time, for I am abundant. My hills have melted in your warm embrace and taken the shape of a candle. My street lights became wicks that shine for love and prosperity. The breezes of my seasons are expressed through scents. I lovingly share my essence through a collection of fragranced candles, masterfully created to bring joy to one and all. The Harlem Candle Company. Oh, listen to that. I love it. So beautiful packaging. These were also very well wrapped. They had plenty of bubble wrap, so they came to me in perfect condition. 
So when you open the candle, the first thing that you'll notice is, of course, um, let's see, where did I put it? Here we go. There's a little card on top of your candle. It comes just like this. And the card is an info card on the scent you purchased. So again, this is the Josephine. And according to this, it's the essence of opulent amber. I'll read you the notes so you'll know exactly what's going on with it. As you can see, I've lit it. That's why the wicks are dark. So I've smelled it and I'll tell you a little bit more about Josephine. Anyway, this card says, inspired by the legendary Josephine Baker's boudoir, this warm, sensual scent opens with vibrant bergamot blending into a heart of lush Moroccan rose and Indian jasmine. Amber, sweet tonka bean, and precious sandalwood provide a beautiful finish as exquisite as Josephine herself. So, of course, those are your notes. Um, like it says, it opens with bergamot. Also, it lists on the website that it has citrus top notes. It says the heart of Moroccan rose and Indian jasmine. Those are definitely the mid notes. And then those base notes, amber, sweet tonka bean, precious sandalwood, and also vanilla is listed on the website. So you get your, your main notes on this card, and then you get your candle. This is the 12 ounce. And when I smelled it initially, my first reaction was, it's okay. I wasn't terribly impressed. It was okay, but I really didn't know how I was going to like it. I didn't smell the bergamot as strong as I'd hoped. So I was a little, I don't want to say disappointed, but I thought to myself, this isn't quite what I expected. Then I lit it. I ate every word. This smells amazing. The word sensual is what's on the card. Absolutely. It does smell like a very wealthy scent. <laughs> it smells extremely luxurious. It is the essence of a very sultry woman's boudoir, just like it says, where she gets herself ready for her day or evening when she taps into her most sensual energy in a candle. Let me tell you, if you were going out somewhere where you wanted to look amazing or you already have your clothes laid out, makeup laid out, everything, you plan on looking amazing, this will get your head into that space. This is, let me light this candle before I get ready to go to my 20th high school reunion and I look like I graduated high school five years ago. This essence. I can't say enough good things about it. This is going to be my signature bedroom scent. That's just how well I like it. I love it more than any other boudoir scent I've had. And I have Future Husband, which smells amazing. This, amazing. I, I can't get it. Just get it. It's a soy candle. It burns clean. Just get it. 80 hours of burn time. $45 for that size. Worth every penny. The next one speak easy and i can't wait to tell you about this so speak easy has all the same stuff on the sides as uh josephine as far as the box and the same logo on the top but josephine according to the box has the essence of opulent amber while speak easy has the essence of bourbon and palo santo now this one i could smell through the box when i first unwrapped it and i was already in heaven when I smelled it. So let's open it up. As you can see, it's well packaged. Here's a little info card. And we're going to read the card. Speak easy evokes the night, its mystery and forbidden touch. Inspired by the secret of nightclubs during the peak of prohibition in Harlem, this rich dynamic scent is intoxicating with fragrance notes of Palo Santo, bourbon, dark chocolate, and plum blossom. Allow this tantalizing fragrance to whisk you away to a 1920s Harlem speak easy. So funny enough, that, that's what the card says. And it mentions bourbon on the card and on the label. But bourbon isn't listed as a note on the website. Doesn't matter. It smells like what they said. Now, this is exactly what the candle looks like before you perch or before you light it when you first get it you see the wax comes up to here I've been burning mine <laughs> so you can see the difference and this is from every night for the past week and I've burned it you know 
20, 30 minutes at a time, maybe two or three times during the evening, it's going very slowly, which is what you want. You don't want your candle to burn up fast. 80 hours of burn time, that sounds totally reasonable based on how many times I've already burnt this and where it is in comparison. Anyway, back to this. The wicks are white, of course, and as you noted, a double wick situation. Um, this has more than just the notes that are on the card. So, of course, the card actually doesn't mention any of the top notes, which are cardamom, smoked incense, and pimento berry. Those are the top notes. Um, to be honest, I smell the smoke of the incense. I don't smell the cardamom. Um, I like cardamom. So if I could smell it, I'd tell you, but I don't smell that. I smell the other notes a little stronger. The pimento berry, I have no idea what a pimento berry smells like. So I have no standard for comparison, but I trust them. If they say it's in here, it's in here. Um, the middle notes, saffron, licorice, plum blossom, and tobacco leaves. Tobacco, yes, absolutely. The saffron, mm, not so much. I can't smell it. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just can't smell it. The licorice, yep, I can smell that. The plum blossom, yep, it has some floral in it. Even though you get those base notes heavy and that um, tobacco, which is a mid note, you get that heavy when you smell it. Unlit, of course, because I haven't lit it. But um, definitely I can still smell some floral in there. So the plum blossom was a really good touch. And then those base notes, as mentioned on the card of Palo Santo, and dark chocolate, but it also has patchouli and vanilla. I don't think the card mentioned the patchouli. Yeah, it didn't mention the patchouli. It just mentioned the dark chocolate and Palo Santo. Um, but patchouli and vanilla are also in here. I smell the Palo Santo. It smells woody. So you've got that smell of wood in there, but you've also got that sweetness of the chocolate. You can absolutely smell the chocolate. Um, the patchouli, I don't smell too strong. It's very, very faint. And the vanilla, maybe for some sweetness in there because it does have a sweetness to it, but I don't smell that as strong. This candle, I can't wait to burn it this winter. I, I'm not going to wait till the winter. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not waiting till the winter. I'm burning it this summer. To me, it has the kind of warmth that would fit cooler weather. I'll just wait for a cool day, kind of like the day today. Today would be a good day to light it, but I wanted to show you what it looked like brand new. Oh, it smells so good. Um, you know, I had a candle called This Smells Like My Future Husband, which is a beautiful candle. Um, that candle, if I could compare the two, that might be your first husband, the future husband candle. Um, your first love that you end up marrying, and you may stay with them or maybe not, but if you're like most people, you might get rid of a husband along the way. And your second husband smells like speakeasy. He might own a pipe. He may not smoke all the time, but he might own a pipe. He likes to drink about a finger of scotch in the evening. No ice. Um, he takes you to wonderful places, shows you off, shows you the time of your life, but it's still very warm and intimate. Speakeasy. It does smell to me like what I'd imagine a speakeasy to smell like where you've got the wood because, of course, the building isn't made out of steel or concrete. It's an old building. So you've got some of those wood smells, but you also got the smell of perhaps cigars. Um, not too heavy, just a light essence of cigars. You've got some chocolate from perhaps some desserts that might be circulating around or something. You can smell the bourbon. Even though the bourbon isn't listed on the website, you can smell the alcohol. You can smell the tobacco. You can smell the sensuality. The plum blossom makes me think of the beautiful women who frequented these places. Ah, so good. So, so good. Last but not least is Ellington. So the last few candles or last two candles I showed you were the full size. We're going to compare that to this, which is the travel size. You see the difference? This is literally, um, as you can see, the diameter is much smaller. The height is much smaller. This is one fourth, no, one third of the volume of this. This is four ounces. This is 12 ounces. This burn time though is a bit less considering this size for 12 ounces will give you 80 hours of burn time. This will give you just 20, um, which is fine. You know, it's a travel candle. You, you're not planning on using this in your home continuously. I bought this size because 
I wasn't sure on the Ellington scent. I knew Speak Easy was going to probably win me over, and it did. I figured Josephine would win me over, and it did. Ellington seemed like a good bet, but I didn't want to buy a full-size candle, so I bought this. This has a single wick. This also doesn't come with the box in the card. It came just like this, still wrapped well. Um, it does have some information on the bottom as far as good candle care, warning stuff. So they put the important stuff there, just not all of the note information that you get for the other ones. So I'm going to read off of the website what they say about Ellington really fast, and then I'll get into the notes. When Duke played Harlem for the first time back in 1927, his jazz was sizzling hot and his vibe was cooler than cool and no one had ever heard anything like it. He infused the neighborhood and the world with a new kind of energy and music was changed forever. The Ellington Candle pays a loving tribute to this vibrant legend with top notes of juicy bergamot, tangy cinnamon, and crisp clary sage, a luminous heart of lily of the valley, heady rose and fresh lavender, and a warm swinging base of spicy patchouli, crystalline amber, and soft skin musk. Those are all your notes, so I don't have to read the note list in hindsight, now I know. Um, those are all the notes that are in top, bergamot, cinnamon, clary sage, mid. Oh, there is one note in the mid notes that wasn't mentioned. Um, Muguet, along with the rose and the lavender, and then the patchouli, amber, musk base notes. So, when I smell this, I don't smell the cinnamon as strong um, when I first sniff, but after I take it away from my nose, the cinnamon registers, the bergamot registers, the clary sage registers. All of those scents are there. The, the rose you can smell, the lavender not so much. Um, mm, I take that back. I can smell the lavender in here. It's just that it's pairing with the cl clary sage and it smells very clean. The muguet, I don't know how muguet smells, um, but it doesn't stink because it's in here and I don't smell it and it doesn't offend me. Then you've got patchouli, amber, and musk. A little bit of the patchouli, the amber I smell kind of as um, a background singer of sorts and the musk, yes, it's there. This smells like perhaps your second husband when he first gets out of the shower. This smells like a really clean man with aftershave, a good aftershave. That's what it reminds me of. This I'll be taking when I travel to light because it has an adventurous smell. Um, this being paired with Duke Ellington and that image is such a beautiful fit because it does have energy. It has energy. It has style. It's it's a cool fragrance. Um, this you could burn any time of the year. It doesn't strike me as overly warm or overly cool. But if I had to pick a season, spring, summer, leaning more towards summer because Something about it kind of reminds me of seawater just a little bit. There's a blue scent, and I know that doesn't make any sense. But if you have ever made the connection between scents and colors, this smells like sea foam green or ocean blue. That's what I smell when I smell this. And that's why I think I make that aftershave connection with this. But gorgeous candle, definitely one that you could use anywhere in your home especially during the hotter months because it's not too it's not so spicy that it puts you in mind of cold outside this this is fresh enough to go with warmer weather for sure so we're gonna do a final rundown of these prices and then i'm gonna let y'all go for real because i've talked enough about these candles you need to go order them i've got the links below so these big candles are 45 unless you get them on sale of course they smell fantastic so 45 a piece for these 12 ounces 80 hours of burn time these travel candles are 15 so if you're a little gun shy about committing to a fragrance this might work they also have room sprays i'm not sure how much the room sprays cost right off hand but let me check the room sprays are 30 so the room sprays are right in between if you don't want to commit to a candle or you're not able to light a candle based on where you live that happens sometimes in certain apartments you can't light things on fire um 
don't worry, you don't need a candle. You can get a room spray. Based on the scent profile, you can choose what you like. Um, so the scent sprays are 30, the small candles, the travel candles that are four ounces, 20 hours of burn time, are 15 a piece and of course the big candles 12 ounces 80 hours of burn time for 45 a piece and the matches are 10 a piece so yeah they were a little pricey for a match um the only thing that could make these matches even better than what they are is if they um start infusing the matchsticks with some of these scents trudon does that if Har Harlem Candle Company, if y'all are watching this, if you make scented matchsticks, even if you gotta raise the price a little bit, these would sell like hotcakes. They're already nice. They're beautifully packaged. This is something you could leave on your table and people would pick it up and admire it. So look, I'm not gonna belabor this point. Y'all watch this video. If you got to this point, thank you. Please subscribe. I love making new friends. I answer everybody, even if I'm a little late. Now that I'm back to filming, I'll be talking a whole lot more with you all. Check out Harlem Candle Company. See what they've got. Everything is themed after the Harlem Renaissance. And if you're somebody who loves that vintage feel, it's such a beautiful line. The scents are top notch. The burn is beautiful and clean. It's absolutely worth every penny. An exquisite product. Cannot recommend it enough. Cannot wait to try all of the scents in time. So I hope you all have a great day or evening wherever you are. If you've had these candles and enjoyed them, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it and I will talk to you soon. Take care.